Welcome Guardian, my name is Abby. I'll be covering all aspects of game modding to ensure you're up to date with the latest modding technology and news on the latest enhancements to both classic and new games releases. In today's video, we're going to be talking about RTX Remix, a unique 3D graphics rendering technique that uses ray tracing to produce more realistic lighting reflections, and shadows in computer-generated images. Ray tracing involves simulating the way light travels through a scene by tracing the path of individual rays as they bounce off objects and surfaces. This allows for more accurate rendering of light interactions, resulting in images that more closely match the way the human eye would perceive a real-world scene. RTX Remix is designed to be used in conjunction with NVIDIA's RTX graphics cards which are optimized for real-time ray tracing. RTX Remix can be used to improve the visual quality of 3D models by more accurately simulating the way light interacts with their surfaces and producing more realistic lighting and shadows. To use RTX Remix with 3D models, you would typically create the models using a 3D modeling software, export them in a format that can be rendered by a ray tracing engine and then use the engine to apply RTX Remix techniques to the models to produce the final image or animation. RTX Remix also utilizes NVIDIA's DLSS technology, which uses deep learning to improve the performance of games and other graphics-intensive applications. DLSS 3 is the third generation of this technology, which was released in 2021. It uses a combination of neural networks and hardware-accelerated processing to produce high-quality images at higher frame rates while also reducing the load on the GPU. Some of the key features of DLSS 3 include improved image quality, support for ray tracing, and the ability to run on a wider range of hardware. Modding is a widespread activity with millions of people participating in it, and billions of mods being downloaded each year. One of the leading mod repositories, Nexus Mods, hosts 400,000 mods for 1,800 different games. Mods can improve the graphics of a game as better GPUs become available, add new content to extend a game's lifespan, completely change the gameplay to appeal to a wider audience, and keep games popular long after official support for updates and DLC has ended. They play a significant role in PC gaming and can have a significant impact on the long-term success and popularity of a title. In fact, many popular competitive games such as tactical shooters, MOBAs, and battle royale games originated as mods. Currently, 9 out of the 10 most popular competitive games can trace their origins back to mods. Bethesda Softworks The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim and The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim Special Edition are the most modded games on Nexus mods, and the most downloaded mods for these titles are graphics mods that use the power of modern GPUs to improve the games in ways that developers couldn't at the time of their release. However, creating graphics mods can be difficult. Special game-specific tools must be developed to mod a game. New art must be created for each asset. Programming skills are often necessary to add modern effects like displacement mapping, and the final mod must be properly packaged for others to install. Many older games are also difficult or impossible to mod, due to hard-to-access files and the absence of official modding tools. Although enthusiast programmers can sometimes work together to overcome these challenges for the most popular games, there are many other games that do not receive this attention. Without the necessary tools, it is not possible to add updated textures and models to the game. The addition of true ray tracing, as opposed to screen space mods, presents even greater challenges for classic games. These games are typically 32-bit and do not support ray tracing, they can only use a maximum of 3 GB of RAM, which is not enough to fully utilize the high resolution. Enhanced assets required for ray tracing, and ray tracing APIs do not exist for older versions of DirectX converting 32-bit times 86 code to modern times 64 code in order to add ray tracing support would require an immense amount of time and access to the source code. PC Gaming Wiki, a valuable resource, keeps track of 32-bit games, and those that have been converted are patched only 28 have been modified to a moddable format to any extent. As an example of the effort required to add ray tracing to a classic game, it took a team of NVIDIA engineers, artists, and QA experts several months to develop the Quake 2 RTX mod, and this was with the assistance of the source code and the work of other modders and tools. It would not be practical to repeat this process for all of the classic games that people enjoy. So NVIDIA has come up with a different solution. NVIDIA RTX Remix is a free modding platform built on NVIDIA Omniverse, 
that allows modders to quickly create and share number RTXON mods for classic games. These mods include enhanced materials, full ray tracing, NVIDIA DLSS 3, and NVIDIA Reflex. It's still early days. NVIDIA are keeping their lips sealed regarding an official release date. However, if you're keen to get started, I'd recommend trying out NVIDIA's Omniverse Create application, as it seems NVIDIA Reflex will use a similar UI and toolset. Additionally, you can visit the official NVIDIA RTX Remix website and sign up for early access. Well guys, you stayed till the end, which hopefully means I did a good job. If you enjoyed this vid, why not subscribe and leave a thumbs up? Let me know in the comments what classic games you plan on modding, and who are your favorite modders at the moment. Take care guys and gals, and see you next time with more of the latest modding news. Bye bye, for now. I'm a fan.